Hello ladies and gentlemen, Fathead here, and today I'm bringing you some Gears of War 4 beta footage and a, a bit of a laundry list of things that, at least in my opinion, need to be looked at, tweaked, adjusted, or overall removed because they're bugs or other problems inside the game. Um, and it's, it's, it's a list that I've compiled over the past five days of playing this game things that have happened. These are not things that are just one-off events. Uh, a couple of these things, unfortunately, actually a lot of these things you won't see footage of in this particular match I'm showing you, but um, they're, they're things that I've noticed that are problems. Uh, there won't be any weapon balance uh, suggestions in this video. There will not be, this weapon is OP or this weapon is underpowered. This spring needs to be changed here. Nothing like that is going to be discussed because we have to wait for the full game to come out before we even make any kind of uh, any kind of adjustments for that because we don't know how the other weapons they haven't given us in the beta will affect the game so that being said let's get right to this list first thing and this is not necessarily in the order that I found them first thing is spawns don't swap often enough I have found particularly in team deathmatch here that if I want the enemy team to start spawning at the original spawn I was at and for them to swap I gotta run into their spawn and hang out in their spawn. I can't get near it. I can't get like, you know, 20 feet from it. I literally have to run into the point where the enemy team spawns before the game goes, oh, oh, you want to, okay, yeah, so I guess we'll swap spawns now. And it seems way too easy because one of the very first games I ever played of this beta was I jumped into a TDM match and we couldn't get out of spawn. The enemy team was literally hanging like, like 25 feet outside of spawn you run out, your spawn protection runs out, and they just go, shotguns, boom, and they down you and kill you. It was non-stop spawn trapping. I haven't had it happen since. I think it's been playing with a lot of people who just agree that th that's just not a fun way to play the game. It might be a silent agreement. Uh, next thing on the list is the frag grenades. Now, I know I said no weapon tweaking, but this is a bug, I swear to God. These frags kill through walls and cover. Playing on, in particular, the two moments I had were on Dam, where I would throw the frag from frag spawn over the sandbags. It bounced off a wall and kind of came back at me. Was still outside of the, of the sandbags. But, despite me having a piece of cover between the explosion and my character, the nade still killed me. It went off and killed me. I'm, I'm utterly confused. Foundation, I had a moment where one of the guys I was playing with, uh, Profit from Infinite Combo actually ran by a nade trap, planted at grenades on Foundation, which is like on the base level of the of the map, killing him. It went off. I was standing above him in that area just next to the 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 torque bow spawn that balcony. I was standing above there. The explosion went through the floor and killed me. So it's that's that's definitely a bug. I like I said, there's no weapon uh, no weapon balancing suggestions will be made, but that is one hell of a bug, guys. We need to tweak that. Get that out of there. Now the next one, you can make your own assumptions on whether it's a me thing or if I am saying balance the weapon. But the torque bow reticle, when you're charging it up, that orange reticle is particularly hard to read, mostly on maps with a lot of daylight. Here on on harbor here. Um, it's if they have one and actually they do it's easier yeah right there it's easier to read because it's dark out you can see the orange better daylight throws it off the light maps throw it off and especially if you're aiming it at a swarm character because their skin is the exact same tone as the reticle you can't tell whether you're on him or not or if you're just oh you're gonna stick him in the arm or you're gonna stick the wall next to his arm you don't know and it might just be a me thing I still may have to adjust to it but that is yet to be seen uh, but it's it's a constant. I and I love the torque bow. I really I love using it. It's such a fun weapon. Um, now the other one, next thing on the list, of course, the sound is off. If you're playing the game and you know, Prophet had this happen when we were playing multiplayer. He heard shots coming from behind him, turn around, and there was no one there. But you know, this the sound was coming from behind him. It was actually coming from his right. I've had them where. I've heard my teammate shooting behind me, and all of a sudden, I, and I whip around to look at him, and I'm looking right at him, the shot's coming from the left sound, left, and I move to the left, but it's coming from the right a little bit. You know, it's not quite centered. They need to dial in the sound. Uh, once again, like, everyone's got to keep that in mind. This is a beta. This is not a final product. Really, really hope that, um, God, I love that headshot. Really hope that 
all these things get through, everyone sees these little tiny issues, you know, the frame rate's gonna be fixed clearly, it's a beta. Um, but things that, probably due to the connection or server issues, they're not happening correctly. Now, the XP bonuses, the win bonus, consecutive match bonus, and your bounty are not being awarded consistently. La past couple of days, I haven't had a problem with it. But for two days straight, especially th in those two days, it was just, oh, you won a match, no win bonus. Oh, it's your fifth match, no consecutive win bonus, or whatever number match you played. Oh, you get a bounty on, and you reach the bounty of 1,500 points in a match, you're not getting that bounty, but we're using it up. And it's, it, it, it happened two days straight like that. It worked, it didn't. It worked, it didn't. It worked, it didn't. Back and forth. Um, as well as inconsistent experience from games. I had a really shitty game, only got 400 points. But I only get 94 XP for that? I figure I get like 294. You know, cut it in half or something, guys. Another match where I got 702 points and got 65 XP. So, it's inconsistent when the, when the game's going to give you the win bonuses and stuff as well as how much experience it's giving you that just isn't right and you know it's it's one of those things that if you want people to reach level 20 in a beta it's kind of essential that this stuff work but it is a beta i'm not mad at them just once again just putting all this out there hey guys you might want to tweak these things because that's definitely something you don't want carrying over to the, to the next game, especially with character skin unlocks or weapon skin unlocks. People will be just overall very unhappy with it. Um, but it's it's still a, ooh, and that's oh, I love that weapon. It's one of my favorites. The drop shot is ridiculous now. I'm getting better with it. But it's it's one of those things that you know it, it's got to be it's got to be changed. And that's the whole point of this little rant I've got going here. Um, your map vote doesn't count consistently. I've had this happen right up until today. I played a few matches today. Um, it being Saturday, uh, April 22nd, 23rd? April 23rd. So I've had this happen uh, where map votes don't count consistently. That's happened right up till today, April 23rd. Um, where I will be playing next map vote comes up hey, I want to play on harbor vote harbor is a check mark next to the one I voted but it says zero so I can't tell whether the game's counting or not it, it I'm not sure if it's counting it and it's once again something else needs to be looked at um this one hasn't happened in a while and it really only happened because they tweaked the they tweaked the servers I guess uh, some point during the early portion of the uh, early access of the beta but the load times for matches can sometimes take five plus minutes. Whether it's finding people, it keeps ex expanding the player pool and never finds people and eventually crashes. Once again, probably just the beta thing. Um, but sometimes when it does in fact find a match, it will sit there and go... Sorry, I thought I got a kill there. Um, <laughs> it will sit there and go, okay, so here's people. Okay, now it's, we found people, we found a match, and it just... It, I timed it, and it took like three and a half minutes to load. I'm like, that's not right. You know, another one took over, over five minutes. And, you know, no one's going to want to... That's that's horrible. That's like Gears 2 matchmaking, if anyone remembers that. Ugh. But, you know, the load times, they got to be improved. I understand you want to get nice close matches. And once again, it's a beta. But that's something they should be definitely taking a look at. Um, pulling up your TACCOM in this game not only shows you weapon locations, teammate locations, and um, your own friendly fragnade or any kind of grenade plants. If you look carefully, you can actually see enemy grenade plants. Now, they're not blatant. You don't see them as bright as you see your own grenade plants or your teammates' grenade plants. What you see is an outline of a grenade. Whether it's a smoke or a frag, you see an outline of it. Now, I'm not sure if this is intentional. Prophet seems to think so. He says if you really want to, you know, curb the just spamming of grenade tags and no one knows where they are, what what better way than to... There's, a, there's like an outline of a grenade there. That's not bright. That's not mine. Let's stay away from it. Kind of gives you a little bit of an advantage. But it takes away from the sneakiness. But he also said the competitive community has been com complaining a lot about frag tagging and Gears of War 3 and, and I, I understand you know 
So I'm not sure if that's intentional. I'm not sure if it's a bug where it's just seeing it as part of the scenery, but you can literally see them through walls. Um, so I'm not entirely, I'm kind of still on the fence about that. It's a neat feature. It's a nice little, hey, you know, let's just give the, the enemy team a little bit of a break with these frag plants. You know, because uh, an entire team just planting frag grenades is just stupid. It's like, why, you know, you're going to go out of your way just to do that. And, oh, I love this execution. Um... And so, I just, I'm not sure about it. Once again, I can see the point. I can see the, the upsides, the downsides. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, sorry, checking a message here. I can see the upsides and downsides of it, of course. So, it's it's really, that's that's kind of a community is probably going to speak up about that. Um, Another one that I'm almost positive is a bug, because I haven't heard this in any other Gears game. And I've only heard it from the human side in this game, in this beta is that when I'm playing on the swarm and one of the people on the human team spots somebody I can hear them I see you enemy spotted I can hear the audio and I'm not sure if you can hear it in this match if, it, if you'll be if it's really prevalent in this one but it happens and I can never ever I can't imagine why that would be a good thing to leave in it's got to be a bug at that point so item number 10 there um of my 11 item list and last but not least and this one was a this one was a problem with gears ue when it came out but enemy footsteps they're way too quiet they are they're almost stealthy they're almost absolute you just you can't hear them it's 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 like unfair it's like i've been sitting in cover and all of a sudden i'll turn my camera and there'll be a guy standing there with a shotgun it's like when the hell did you get there and he kills me it's like when when did that guy show up so we need to increase the volume of the footsteps. Not a ton. Not so it's overbearing. You can hear it through gunfire. But so you can at least hear it. I mean, I might still be adjusting. Uh, I haven't completely, you know, taken into account all other sounds in the game that's happening at that moment. It could just be a me thing. But as far as I can tell, they're really quiet. The footsteps are... Shh, I'm sneaking up on him now. And you can't quite get it, uh, get a handle on where the guy's coming from. One more thing, the damage might be getting misrepresented by certain weapons in the game. The shotgun I've noticed where I've been hit, and there's no damage on my ret uh, no damage on my screen whatsoever, and then all of a sudden I get hit and I'm down or I'm dead. So once again, it might be a bug. The shotgun's probably doing proper damage. It's just just not showing correctly. Well, guys, thank you for listening to my rants. Uh, sorry about the messages up on screen. But um, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, share, subscribe, and follow me here on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. So, guys, till next time, uh, peace out and happy hunting and gears.